The City of Lost Children is a truly outstanding dark surrealist film by French director Jean-Pierre Jeunet. In an oppressive city, children are being abducted for their dreams by Kronk, Daniel Emilfork, a mad scientist who cannot have dreams of his own. When his little brother is taken, Circus Strongman One, Ron Perlman, resolves to rescue him with the help of a strong-willed orphan named Mietta, Judith Fittet. I loved this movie. It's dark and confronting, but also sweet and resplendently imaginative. The atmosphere in the city of lost children is extraordinary. There is a grungy allure to the fascinating world this film crafts, with its eccentric characters, run-down yet vibrant locations, and subversive societies. The City of Lost Children has been described as a steampunk film, with its emphasis on advanced yet rustic technologies, but I know what Sir Reginald Pike Devon Esquire would say to that. Steampunk refers to a type of science fiction about alternate pasts, not future prediction. I think it could easily be a post-apocalyptic film. The city is dirty and dilapidated, and the inhabitants scrape together a living as thieves, gangs of feisty children, and cyborg cults rejecting the natural senses and stealing children for Kronk. This could easily be France in the Fallout universe, and Kronk, with his cloned scientists and an insightful brain in a vat, could be an offshoot from the Institute. Or he could be an Enclave scientist. The Enclave sure likes their oil rigs. Krunk is a somewhat sympathetic villain. While he does abduct children and exploit them for their dreams, he does have a tender side and an overwhelming feeling of loss in forming his actions. Like Eraserhead, Brazil, or Dogtooth, the world feels darkly absurd in its composition, yet very cohesive. The film gradually teases out an intriguing mystery about the nature and origins of Kronk's family, and this further immerses you in the film's world and supplements one and Mieta's journey. Perlman and Vitette are a fantastic double act. Perlman plays a formidable softy in one, and his powerful yet sensitive performance is all the more impressive because he couldn't speak French at the time, and so delivered his lines verbatim. Vitette is incredibly confident and dignified as Mietta, superbly conveying the reserved survival instincts and early maturity she had to grow as an orphan in this devastated city. One has the brawn, and Vitette has the sass and initiative to rescue one's brother, and it is gratifying to watch them steadily trust and rely on each other. Their relationship may seem strangely intimate, with Perlman so much older than Vitette, but it's clear as the film progresses that their characters love each other, like brother and sister. Pervaded with macabre style and anchored by deep, relatable characters, The City of Lost Children moves at a fast pace, has clever twists, and manages to be deeply disturbing, especially in the climax, but also touching and magical. The aforementioned climax is brilliant, consisting of literal mind games inside Kronk's head. It just occurred to me that if Kronk wants to finally have dreams, he could just consult the lamp in Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. The City of Lost Children is an excellent surreal science fantasy drama and earns four and a half stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.